Hey, this is Michael, and today I'm reviewing the Hercules XPS 101 Multimedia Speaker System 2.1, as they say. Well, as you can see by the box, it's a very clean looking system, hardly any cable clutter or anything like that. Um, it comes with the uh, subwoofer unit and then two satellite speakers, and, uh, and then this controller here. And the controller is actually kind of cool. Uh, if you plan on using this uh, for a computer system, uh, you'll find that controller quite handy. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like in the box in their promotional literature. Well, here's the reality. Uh, <laughs> there goes all the uh, clean looking uh, photos and this is what you really end up with. Um, so let's just take a look step by step at what we have here. First of all, this is one of the satellite speakers. It's actually uh, very attractive. Um, chrome on the back here. Uh, it's kind of a retro, I would say it looks kind of a retro-like speaker to me. It's a black with a chrome uh, around the front here and has a little pads on the bottom here so it won't slide too much on your desk. The cable uh, does not detach from the speaker itself but it merely goes into the housing and uh, so you've got your left and right satellite speakers and then this is the controller now I have some serious issues with the controller but I'll talk about that in a moment uh, and then this is the this is the bottom of the unit here and um, this is where everything plugs into and then for cord management they do have some uh, clips built right onto the enclosure where you can snap the cables so that they are somewhat contained. And um, so this plug here is for the power, and this plug here uh, is kind of like a PC connector, and that goes to the controller itself. And then you have the plugs for the left and right speaker. And then there's a mini plug down there, and that would be for your auxiliary in. Uh, that's so you can hook up an mp3 player or what have you. Comes with a variety of connecting cables. There's a couple of extra cables here to give you a little more flexibility. This is a uh, quarter inch to RCA female plug here and, uh, and then they give you a female uh, this is basically an extension cord for a mini, a mini plug, quarter, not quarter inch, uh, eighth inch, I guess is what these are technically called. And um, so you can actually, on the controller here, you can hook up headphones. Now when you hook up a headphone to the system, it automatically disconnects the subwoofer and the two satellites. So you can hook up headphones. And then the controller, uh, the volume controller here, also has a line in. So if you've got anything hooked up to the line in, it disables the line in on the subwoofer. So the subwoofer actually sits this way, and the top of it is chromed. And then the uh, speaker itself is uh, fabric around the whole speaker. And you can actually, if you're not careful, uh, you know, if you have this under your desk, for instance, you could easily put your foot through this. So you want to make sure that uh, you have this position somewhere where you're not going to kick it. And uh, according to the brochure that comes with it, uh, there's actually uh, two speakers in the subwoofer, and I believe they point out to each side. And in any case, let's take a look at the controller here. This is where uh, the functions volume, bass, and treble are controlled with this uh, controller here. And you also turn the unit on or off, and it's technically not off, it's standby mode. In order to go into standby mode, you just hold this for about three seconds and then it clicks off. When you push it to go back on again, it does retain all your volume, bass, and treble settings that you had set previously. However, if you do unplug the unit, uh, then you'll have to reset those settings. This is perhaps one of the biggest frustrations I have with this unit other than the sound quality, which I'll talk about in just a moment. It defaults to the volume, and when you turn this wheel here, the little volume, there's a plus and a minus LED that display, but the plus, it, all it does is it blinks 
whether you're increasing or decreasing the volume, the little light here just blinks until you can go down no further and then it stays steady. The same with when you're increasing the volume. It blinks, 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 but eventually it'll just stay lit. That means you can't go any higher. However, there's no relative indicator here of where you are on that scale. So you don't know if you're at 80% volume or 20% volume. You just don't know, uh, except by loudness, but uh, you don't have any relative way of knowing where you are on that scale. And that is very obnoxious to me. Uh, and the same holds true for the bass and treble. As a matter of fact, to make it even more frustrating, the volume has 50 clicks, about 50 clicks before you reach the extreme, whereas the bass only has about 16 or 18 clicks. It was very inconsistent. I couldn't exactly figure out if it was 16 or 18. And the treble, only 12 clicks, you know? At least they could have made it consistent and it would have been a little easier to figure things out, but no. Um, so that's a little frustrating. Um, and then as far as the sound quality, you know, for the money for this system, uh, I was expecting much better quality, to be quite honest. I've had, uh, I've had subwoofer and satellite systems by other companies and they have cost less money than this and with a, a superior sound quality. Uh, I will say that I never got any distortion. If I have my iPod at full volume, uh, or my iPhone in this case, if I have that at full volume, and uh, you know, obviously you can't tell from this recording what that sounds like, but there's no distortion even at the full volume, so that's cool. But uh, as far as the quality of the sound, to be honest, my ears were numb after listening to this for a couple hours at moderate listening levels. Now part of that could be MP3, uh, but I have uh, 256 kilobits per second, so it's a fairly high quality MP3 that I'm listening to. And I just thought that the sound quality should have been better for the price of the speaker system. Uh, all in all, I'd give it about a three. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a attractive unit. It works pretty well. Um, another con, as far as I'm concerned, is the size of the power adapter. This is a gigantic power adapter. I'm not sure uh, why they couldn't have either built it into the subwoofer or made it smaller, but there it is. It is what it is. Um, this is certainly not a speaker system that would be easily movable to other rooms because of the all the cables that you have to deal with here. So as far as a desktop computer uh, or perhaps a laptop computer station that you might have at a desk, yes it'll certainly work well for that, um, although at a pretty steep price and you probably can uh, quite frankly do as good if not better for less. So that's my review of the Hercules. And I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll certainly try to answer it if I can. Thanks a lot.